Hello, welcome to my channel, and in this video I'm going to go through my complete 4K and Blu-ray collection. I still have DVDs as well, so if enough people like and watch this video, I will also go through them. There isn't as many as I now have Blu-rays, but there is still quite a few that I just haven't upgraded yet, or that haven't got a UK Blu-ray release. So... Let's get started with the 4K. So first up is Aladdin, the live action remake from 2019. The Dark Tower. Recent pickup, Days of Thunder. The Equalizer 2. E.T., which I think is a must-have to have in your collection if you're a collector. Fast and Furious 6. I do not own any of the other Fast and Furious films, purely because I haven't got around to get them yet, but when I do, I will probably only get them on Blu-ray, because it's a lot cheaper than getting them on 4K, and you only buy 4Ks if they're worth it, so if I can actually notice the difference. This I got with my 4K player when I bought that. So that's the only reason that this is on 4K and not Blu-ray. Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Groundhog Day, which is personally one of my favourite comedies. I just think it's very rewatchable. So, yeah. Hocus Pocus, which was bought with some Christmas money, I think it was Amazon voucher, and Him Alone, which was a Christmas present. Jack Reacher. Mortal Engines. And finally, X-Men Apocalypse. I have got the other X-Men films. The only reason that this is on 4K and not Blu-ray like the other X-Men films is because when I bought the box set in CEX and I wanted to get this one, I picked the Blu-ray up for this, but then I was told that the 4K was only a pound extra, so I thought I might as well get the 4K for one pound extra. I think it was about four pounds, five pounds. Right, and now on to my Disney collection. Beauty and the Beast, the original. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Mary Poppins. The live action remake of Mulan, which was a Christmas present. All five Pirates of the Caribbean films, which was also a Christmas present. Toy Story 4, Tron and Tron Legacy, and finally, up, I don't, I am going to start collecting Pixar films, so hopefully I will start from this week, so if you look out, if obviously enough people watch this, I will make a end of the month pick up haul. And I may have more Pixar films there, but we'll just have to wait and see. At the moment, I've not separated the Disney from the Pixar because I've only got two Pixar films, so I don't see the point, and I've not got many Disney films as it is. So, but I am going to start collecting them very soon. So now we move on to my box sets. The first one is a bit, some of them are all over the place, but once we get to a certain thing, place, they're in order, so I think it goes for my Marvel, which I've only got one of, Star Wars, Harry Potter, DC, and then it'll be box sets. So, first up is X-Men, the Cerebro collection, which I think I picked up in CX for about four quid a few, I think it was about a year ago, just over a year ago. 
but this has X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, and Days of Future Past. So, and it actually has the 3D of Days of Future Past in it as well. Next up is Star Wars, The Complete Saga, so this is the first six films. This was a Christmas present because I'm starting to really build on my franchises in my collection for this year. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Star Wars The Last Jedi. Solo. And Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, which I actually like. I know there's a love hate thing between this, but I don't. With all of the Star Wars, I have surprisingly, you'd be shocked to know, I've n not seen any of the original Star Wars films. I think I have seen A New Hope, but only once. And I've not seen any of the prequels, I've only seen the sequels and the spin offs. And. I'd say probably Force Awakens is my favourite because it was the first proper Star Wars film I watched. But this wasn't a bad film. I liked what they did with it. I know a lot of people don't, but I didn't see the problem with it. And next up is all of the Harry Potter films. And Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And now onto my DC collection. Man of Steel. Aquaman. Birds of Prey. And the only one that I have got that isn't in the DCEU is Joker. Now we're going to start with the start of my box sets which I haven't got many of but again hopefully this year I will start building my collection more and I should have doubled my collection because the start of last year my collection was very small and I'd say I've got about 300 I'm not sure don't I might be wrong but I think I've got about 300 blu-rays from now so hopefully next year I'll have doubled that but just have to wait and see but start my box sets American Pie 1, 2, 3 and Reunion I know they've just re-released this but I don't see the point in getting the new version Back to the Future the Trilogy it's the same film I wouldn't notice the difference personally so I don't see the point in really paying £15 for the same set of films to be honest The Complete Dirty Harry Collection. So this includes all the Dirty Harry films, which are Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. I've seen the first two. They're pretty good films. Indiana Jones, The Complete Collection. For me, I would say Raiders of the Lost Ark is a fantastic film. Temple of Doom is the worst, by far. Because it was, I thought it was just too dark of a film. It didn't match the rest of them. Last Crusade's very close to Raiders of the Lost Ark, and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is good. It's not amazing, but it's good. I still enjoy it. Don't have any problems. I can't pick any problems out with it personally. And Transformers five film collection. I don't care what anyone says about these films. I like all of them. They are what they are, they're just big budget action films. Who cares about the story, it's just about robots fighting each other. And this is all five, bar obviously Bumblebee, which we'll get to in the next video, because which is a hint. Now, this is my Christopher Nolan collection. We have Inception. Interstellar, Dunkirk, and Tenet. I will obviously at some point 
be getting the rest of his films. I have seen most of them. The only ones I haven't seen are Following, Memento and The Prestige. I've seen all the other ones, but I will get around to them at some point this year. Next up is Casino Royale. This is into my normal mainstream collection now. 16 Blocks, which is a fun action thriller. It's, I liked it. It's not anything special, but I liked it. It's directed by Richard Donner. I love the, I've recently just watched the Lethal Weapon films for the first time, and I love them. So I like that, obviously, as well. 1917, definitely in my top 10 of last year. What a fantastic film. 21 Bridges with the late, great Chadwick Boseman. It was a decent film, I thought. 40 Year Old Virgin. Ad Astra. A Few Good Men. I will be at some point upgrading this to 4K. This was a Christmas present though, so I can't do it immediately. Alita Battle Angel Alvin and the Chipmunks I know I grew up with these films which is the only reason that I have the first and the third film because I grew up with them so they may or may not stay in my collection I'm not sure I almost got rid of them late last year but for now they're staying in the collection because they are funny to me at least so we've obviously got the first one and chip prepped we have American Hustle American Gangster The American President this is a very good film I know this is Kermit's Ghost's favourite film or one of them anyway Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. I haven't got the first one yet, but I will get around to buying it at some point. And Annie. I haven't got the original, but again, at some point I will get around to buying it. This is still a pretty good remake, to me anyway. Apocalypse Now. Never seen this before. I need to get around to watching that. Armageddon, one of my favourite space disaster films. Star is Born, probably my favourite film of 2018, but don't quote me on that because there could be something else that I'm forgetting. Backdraft, great film. Bad Boys Trilogy, well they say collection, but it is really trilogy, all three films. And with that, I think it goes backwards in terms of how good they are. I think the third one's the best, then the second and then the first, but they're all great films anyway. Bad Times at the El Royale, it's a decent film. Barney's version, I bought this because it has Dustin Hoffman in and he is one of my favourite actors. It's a pretty good film, uh, based on a true story I believe, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I, from what I remember it was a good film. Big Fish, now if you asked me at the start of last year what I thought about Tim Burton, I would have told you that he's one of the worst directors even though I haven't, I hadn't really seen many of his films. But then come April, I watched Edward Scissorhands, which I loved. And then I think about August, September, I watched this. And this is probably, again, one of my favourite films. I don't know what it is about it, I just really enjoyed it. So now if you ask me what I think about Tim Burton, I'd still probably say he's not the best, but he's two of his films, the two that I've seen... Oh good, I've still not seen, surprisingly, the Batman films. There are quite a lot that I haven't seen, but I'm not a fan of gothic films, like your like Sleepy Hollow, Crimson Peak, that sort of thing, which is why, when it comes to Tim Burton, I'm very split. But for what I have seen of his, I'd say, because I've seen Alice in Wonderland, which I didn't think much of, and I've seen um, Dumbo, which again, I didn't think much of. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, one of the worst. I don't know who thought of doing that, but they, luckily we've still got the original, which will be later on. 
anyway, next up is Big Mama's House 2. Don't ask me again why I have this. It was just something I found cheap in CX, and I remember watching these when I was younger, so I thought, why not? I think it was only 50p a pound, so the big sick. The Blind Side, great film. The Blues Brothers. Body of Lies. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bridge to Terabithia. The Bucket List. Call of the Wild. Catch Me If You Can, which only came today. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Glad you had the chance to meet balls. Again, I grew up with this. I think it was about 50p a pound in CX, so couldn't find anything else, so I just picked this up. Collateral Beauty. And Contact.